Hi, I'm Neil. Hi, I'm Jeanette. And welcome, welcome aboard, aboard Echo Echo. 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 from the sandblast to Cologne and they're going to be transiting the canal and the, even the freakiest thing is that um, Annette and my name's Jeanette on their boat grew up in the same suburb that I grew up in Perth even though they're not from Perth now small world not sure if you can see the swell but um, hopefully some good footage this we sort of rolling a bit up and down so but on camera film it never ever looks as big as it is in real life bit of a grey day unfortunately it would be nice if the sun was shining and we've just had to turn the engine on because the wind has slowed down and we need to get average five knots otherwise we won't make the anchorage um, in, in daylight and it's important because there is no other anchorage close by to go to. Um, I know a few people who went to Morley High but they're um, like a year younger than me over. So we're in the middle of the Caribbean and Jeanette's found I found some people from the city she grew up with town, in a boat just um, off our uh, port. We're heading along the coastline of Panama. We're going to anchor tonight at Isla Linton, which means Island Linton. And tomorrow we'll head to Cologne. It's a very grey day today. Check the clouds. So it's very misty over the mainland. We're approaching Isla Linton. Unfortunately, it's starting to rain. I'm sure it would look beautiful on a sunny day, just like the picture in the book. Coming into the anchorage at Isla Linton. It's pretty crowded though. Isla Linton is an island that has no people living on it. Um, the only th inhabitants on the island are monkeys that have basically taken over the island. We're on our way to see if we can see the monkeys that inhabit this island at Isla Linton in Panama. Where's the monkeys? They've gone. Now that we've landed the boat, they've disappeared. This is the only house or building on the island and the monkeys have taken it over now and I can actually see a monkey inside the building. Whoa! Neil's trying to entice him with an orange. Here he comes. Oh my god, it looks quite big. Get ready to run, Neil, if he attacks you. <laughs> oh, he's climbing up the little coconut tree. I'm filming from the dinghy. Apparently these monkeys are quite nice when you first get there, but then apparently they get really aggressive when you go to leave if you've got no food left.
Hey monkey, you want some more orange? When you finish the scratch, here, yeah, have another orange. There you go. He's off. Doesn't like my company. After a year and a bit, we've got Jeanette rowing in, um, in Panama. Just been ashore looking at monkeys. And to effect our escape before getting savaged by those uh, beasts, um, I jumped in the dinghy and Jeanette rowed. Yeah, here we go. You need to go more to your right, Jeanette. That's it. Beautiful. Now, you. Yeah. Right, here we are in the Western Caribbean rolling down the trades on our way to our last stop this afternoon in uh, this part of the, the ocean which will be in Colon or Colon or however they pronounce it uh, which is the port on the Atlantic Ocean side of the Panama Canal. I suspect we might be there for 10 days maybe a fortnight or whatever getting uh, the transit documentation ready going through the canal buying some gear, doing some last minute repairs. But here we are, lovely day for the final day. The sun's come out. Um, winds are probably around 20 knots. We've got our staysail set and a fairly decent reef in the, uh, in the Berlin main. We're probably getting along, I guess, at about somewhere between about 6.8 and 7.5 and knots. I'm going to do a panorama now and I'm sure on film it will look like we're sitting or sailing in a duck pond, it'll be so calm, but anyway here it is. That's it for this clip. One of those windy days that I don't like sailing, but Neil really relishes in it. He's harnessed himself, but he's at the front of the boat there. He's actually playing around with the GoPro camera to maybe get some footage. We've got our stay sail up and our main and we put a preventer line on the main because at the moment the wind keeps shifting around to be half uh, nearly almost sort of downwind which uh, but it's the winds are quite strong today different from yesterday uh, lots of white caps out there but as usual it probably doesn't show up on the camera how rocky and rolly that things are at the moment not sure if you can see the chart plotter very clearly, but we're coming close to the entrance to the breakwaters to get us into Cologne, Panama, where the Panama Canal is. Looks like it's a little busy on the outside. All of those triangles are ships. So we've got to go and thread the needle. And it's a fairly so, hazy day, so despite being that close, on the horizon at the moment, physically, I can actually only see two of them. And, uh, and that's 
screen shows uh, everything is within 12 mile range of us on that screen. Yeah. But only two of them are visible to the naked eye at the moment. Yeah, unfortunately it's a really hazy day out there. And so we've got this beautiful coastline, but it's hard to see it because it's all hazy and it's very rolly. It's been quite windy and rolly. Whoa. We're approaching Panama Canal entrance to get through the breakwater. It's a very gloomy day. We're rocking and rolling a bit, but it has calmed down a little bit here. Further out it was really rocky, so we had to put the mainsail away. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it. It certainly wasn't comfortable and a bit scary for my liking. We're trying to enter Panama Canal and there's a cat that's just coming out. In the, we're doing a bit of swear surfing and he's going into the really bumpy. Okay, we're on the boat at Shelter Bay Marina and before the measurement person comes hopefully tomorrow to measure our boat for the canal crossing, we have to be very creative with how we can shorten our boat. Up to 50 feet is a certain amount and once you go over 50 feet, um, it's like almost double the cost and which is astronomical to do the canal crossing. Um, We've measured our boat and with, if you include our stainless steel arch, but our anchors, um, we're actually over 50 feet. So we're trying to be very creative. Um, we're actually over more if we actually leave the, the anchors hanging down. So we're trying to be very creative by taking the anchors off the front and we're going to put them down into the anchor locker and we're trying to uh, reduce the stainless steel we had we had just moved it out while we were in the sandblast uh, to now have to move the top panel back in again uh, the only problem is the bottom of the stainless steel arch is still jutting out and that could be an issue so we might end up having to actually take the whole stainless steel or that top panel of stainless steel uh, beyond the solar panels off if um, or otherwise maybe when one of us is holding the tape measure um, we'd be a little bit creative by where we start or where our tape measure ends because uh, we think we're about three inches more than 50 feet well we're at the marina in um, Panama 
and we're off to a potluck dinner night tonight. It's Good Friday and so one of the celebrations is potluck with the cruisers and then they've got the movie Jesus Christ Superstar on in the cruisers lounge. Not sure if we're going to the movie, we've, we've already seen it before, uh, but looking forward to a nice dinner with the other cruisers and lots to drink. And um, we've done our measurement don't know our canal date yet as we have to wait till Monday now to go to Citibank to pay the transit fees and by Monday night we should hopefully know which day we're going through the canal so getting starting to get a little excited about the whole process we've got our card here showing our canal number so it's starting to be all official <laughs> Another maintenance stop it seems to be a lot of what we do. Um, at the moment, we're waiting on uh, the, the instructions or the information about when we can get transit through the canal. So we're using the, taking the opportunity to clean up some maintenance things. One I'm doing at the moment. This is uh, a job that I've been trying to get to for about four months now. When we were coming back down the Intracoastal Waterway in the U.S. for the second time, we. Uh, started having visibility issues, couldn't see where we are going because what we were looking through, the clears on our dodger, looked a little bit like that, kind of like looking through a, a very weak glass of milk. So at the time we got some quotes for getting some new ones and they were just horrendously expensive. So we thought we'd buy a sewing machine, buy the material and do it ourselves. Well, we achieved the first two of those objectives but not the third because we didn't have the confidence or the competence to, to deal with it. So now we've uh, kind of forced ourselves to get into it and um, built one yesterday, one out of the three panels yesterday, one today, and we're working on the third one. And uh, if I, even if I do say so myself, the finish, once we buff them up a little bit and got all the sticky finger marks off it, will be really, really good. They look, they look first class, they're professional, and I can, I can see where I'm going again, which may or may not be a good thing. But the main thing is the, the, having completed this, completed some work on the, on the headsaw that we did. The sewing machine's paid for itself, so uh, any, and, and we've got it now forever, so uh, that's all good news. But I must admit, I'm looking forward to not having to do all this maintenance, looking forward to getting through to the other side and going for a long sail. like out of the uh, clears that we had prior to doing the work on them. As you can see very unclear clear and here's the view out of the one we've just finished now. We've yet to polish it up a bit so I've still got some finger marks on it but compare the difference. Old, new. It's like day and night really really pleased with the way that's gone. It actually looks really professional uh, so, yeah, another thing I uh, we now know how to do. So, so we're on the bus going to town to put lots of money in the bank so that they can give us a time for crossing the canal and, uh, and do some last minute shopping. And we're not the only ones. Hello, everybody. Smile, you're on camera. Hey, everybody.
bank to pay the fees for getting across the uh, canal. I'm just watching the entrance. Everyone's getting an electronic scan before they even go in. I hope we can pick this up. Apparently Kowloon is quite a lawless place and we've been advised not to walk anywhere. You notice the machine gun? Yeah. doesn't look like it gets used very much at all and the jungle's encroaching on it quite r rapidly by the looks of things and the jungle has a habit of reclaiming its own and just off the street is this building which uh, has all sorts of things growing out of it. it looks to me as though in about five or ten years time you won't even see it's there but still no big animals haven't seen any pumas or gorillas in the mist, so we'll keep looking. The palm trees here are quite magnificent. D don't know what they are, they're just palm trees, but there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, and they all look to be about 60 feet tall, but still haven't found any animals in them. Looking for the, what is it, in the jungle, the mighty jungle. So that must mean we're looking for lions or something. Wimawaya, Wimawaya, Wimawaya. Well, we'll keep going and see what we see. I think Neil spotted something. Let's go and have a look at what he spotted. Because I can't see anything at the moment. What can you see, Neil? Uh, I saw a bird, but we're still on the road in the cane field, so we've probably got a way to go before we see anything. Ah, okay. I thought maybe there might have been something up the top of the coconut tree. bunch of monkeys in those trees. We just heard all sorts of hooting and hollering and howling. We've seen one but it's so high up probably can't get an image of them but um, we'll keep going because there's certainly monkey life up there. We can spot the monkeys but every time we try to film they keep jumping. It's so tall up there. They keep moving away. They just seem to keep their distance. No matter how close we try getting, they uh, just keep moving away. I think we have to give this up as a bit of a loss. Never mind, we saw them. He's hiding behind the trees. Can't see him now. There he is. Oops. Oops, he's run off. Okay, this is the uh, marina we're at in um, Cologne. It's called Shelter Bay Marina. Lovely marina. A bit warm now. Here's our boat. We've had the hull polished. Done a beautiful job of that. And uh, we're just getting ready now to transit the canal tomorrow, which involves attaching all of these fenders, which are simply car tires wrapped in plastic, um, hanging them off the side of the hull. And the uh, guys that have organized this for us have provided us with 400 foot lines for use of the uh, canal. Dinghy set up on the deck. And my favourite thing, the thing I've been working on for three days uh, now with Jeanette, is uh, the replacing of our clears for our spray dodger. Have a look through that. They're as clear as if they actually weren't there. We've done a brilliant job. Absolutely loving it. And, uh, and there we are. So we're pretty much ready now to do the transit.